Party is now unveiling downtown. News 4's Nalina Shapiro is live near the theater st station with more on that. Nalina. Yeah, Victoria, just a short time ago, we got to go into the next generation of NFTA rail cars here at the theater station right near Shays in downtown Buffalo. Now, the NFTA rebuilt and recycled two of their old rail cars over the past couple of years. It cost them about $3 million. Each vehicle is equipped with new safety features, passenger amenities, mechanical upgrades, energy efficient lighting and an anti-slip coating on the door thresholds. Now, this is just the beginning of a $45 million project to rebuild and recycle the remaining 25 rail cars over the next 36 months. Now, by riding on the cars, you're helping reduce the region's carbon footprint. Officials say they release zero emissions and are equivalent to taking 150 cars off the road. The cars that we have now are the original cars going back to 1984. They've certainly in, in need of repair. We could have purchased new cars, but the cost to rebuild, to recycle the cars, um, we save, you know, approximately one and a half million dollars per car. So it made the most sense. It puts people back to work. Back live here near Shays in downtown Buffalo. Now, the new rail cars can't be attached to the old ones yet, so the two of them will be running as their own team for now during off peak hours. On a side note, we've covered lots of stories about how the NFTA is proposing to raise fare hikes or cut bus routes to close a $7 million budget gap. I spoke to NFTA spokesperson. They told me that this is a completely separate issue, that the money has already been granted to them by the government, so it was already set aside. Just thought I'd ask that question because I'm sure many of you were asking how they could afford this. For now, reporting live downtown, Nalina Shapiro, News 4 at noon.